All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Tasty Tuesday, number 37 I think it is. But anyway, tonight we're cooking one of my favorite things ever. I love wild duck. This is boneless, skinless duck breast. Wild duck is extremely, let's say gamey. It's got a lot of flavor. Some people say it's like liver, some people say it's like whatever. But it does, it has a lot of flavor, so you have gotta really mold it into what you want. This is Swanson's Ginger Thai, uh, it's a uh, chicken stock, and it's out. It's so good, holy cow. You could use this just by itself. This is a bunch of fresh herbs, make sure it's fresh. That's thyme, that's rosemary, that's sage. If you're cooking any kind of poultry, those three make it amazing. Throw it all right in there. Then, you think this is a lot, but that's a half a cup of salt. There's big old heaping three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. Put that in there. Good. While that comes to a boil, I gotta show you my new toy. Check this out, see that? That is a WW. That's my waterfowl would have make it right there. That's my escort. Three inch magnum. This thing's awesome. Can't wait to get to hunt with it. Boom. All right. That's what we're looking for. Alrighty, so now we want to bring our temperature down. All right. So now what you have is just, it looks like tea, but it's just so absolutely loaded with flavor. It's room temperature, and I'm just gonna set all my duck breast right in there. Make sure the uh, herbs are just all throughout. Good. All right, you guys, look who's home. Mama's home. Let me just tell y'all. When she gets a gift, nothing is happening until she opens it. So this is from a good bro, Clint Howe, up in Gaffney, South Carolina. <laughs> it's a baby spoon. It's Florida baby spoon. Oh, that's so cute. <gasps> it's baby stuff. Oh. Oh. Oh, that is so cute. Oh my gosh, in a cast iron pan. Wow. <gasps> That's ultra rad. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Clint, you rock, dude. Thank you so much. That's insane. Oh. Now, I also got something from Efren Malihi. And he's from Victoria, Australia. He made me some lures. Wow. Look at that beautiful crankbait that he hand painted. Look how nice those are. Oh, yeah, that's really good. <gasps> Aria got her first fish in lure, y'all. Oh, and he spelled her name right. Yep. Look at that, Aria. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. We gotta frame that. That is. <gasps> you rock, dude. Thank you so much. All right, so we're working on a couple things at the same time. We're gonna be making rice, and we're gonna be making sauteed uh, asparagus. I want to cook my, my, my duck in bacon grease. I want the flavor of the bacon. So we're going to put a little bit of that right in here. And I've got it diced up it's about as fine as I can get it. Little, little tiny cubes. I want that to cook down. I want that to render down. That's just some butter. Now, this is a blend of mushrooms. There's oyster mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms, baby bellas. I'm just gonna throw them right in there. Throw all Everglades seasoning. Now, this is actually backwards, but I'm telling you this works very well. That's one cup of rice. Roll it around so the butter 
and the flavor of the mushrooms just gets all over your rice. Let that get nice and hot. We're gonna add two and a half cups. That is a Tuscan chicken broth. Perfect. With your rice, as soon as it comes to a boil, you wanna reduce your heat to just just below a simmer, you know, like a low heat. Let it cook for about 25 minutes. Come out perfect. I would have loved to leave this in the brine overnight, but it's been about an hour and a half, maybe two hours now. Look at that. Beautiful. Rice came to a boil, cover it, reduce it, and just let it cook, so 649. We're talking about 715, that would be perfect. In the meantime, a little bit of Everglades heat. Heat. Once they hit that frying pan, let them sit there. Let them cook so you get some nice color. That's the color we're looking for. So my first batch of oil got a little hot, so I got rid of it. Use a little bit more of the bacon, and I'll render it down. Now, here's something I want you guys to all understand. If you go to the store and buy duck, like duck breast, it'll be a very light color. And if you go out in the woods and kill a duck like we did, it's very red. That's because farm-raised ducks don't fly. So they waddle around. That means their breasts get very plump and fat and white. But these ducks that have to fly for a living, they can literally just whoop, jump out of the water and fly immediately. They have a very fast twitch, um, dark red meat. So it is what it is. You go to a store and buy duck, you don't know where it came from. I guarantee you I know where that came from. Now, start making a little sauce. The better the wine you make, the better the wine you use, the better your sauce will be. You get that reduction? All the alcohol is being evaporated out of this sauce which will make it nice and safe for my pregnant wife and my little baby that's being, that's growing inside her tummy. Speaking of which, I know you guys have been wanting to see this. Here she is, y'all. There she is. Big belly. Okay. Pretty soon I won't be able to see my feet. Look at that little tummy on there. Right in there is where little Aria Arrington is. Isn't that cute, you guys? Look at her. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And there's <laughs> pregnant mama. And how far along are you? Uh, almost six months. <laughs> how many weeks? Uh, 23. There she is. And she moves a lot. Oh, I have to say this. The doctors and the nurses said that she's in like the upper percentile of being active. So she's definitely our kid. Good deal. Back to cooking. Okay. So all you're trying to do is reduce this down. Reduce it down. Anytime you're making a sauce, you want to taste it. And so you say, oh, it needs salt. It needs this. It needs that. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Very rarely does that happen. I'm not doing anything. All I'm doing is turning this down to low. That will be awesome. Now, you can do this with anything. This is just a side. This is just asparagus. That's a pan, a little bit of butter. Take your asparagus, cut down. What's up, William? Oh, there he is. Yeah, there he is. That's William Kimball, everybody. I made it. If you didn't know, now you now do you know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Can you give me an air hug there? Yes, air hug. <laughs> oh, if you could smell that. Mm. <laughs> I got the call. And it was Robert's cooking famous Robert Arrington dinner. And I said, the winner. I'm on my way, son. <laughs> Does a little red wine reduction. Take these, throw them in there. Last but not least, I'm gonna. You down with uh, mushrooms? I love them. Do you? You want to just clean your gills out? Just like that. Take those rascals, put them right back in there. Mm, just let it, <laughs> let it just soak up some of that low. Good. I mean, you know what I was talking about, about the reduction? Look at that, that's just nothing but flavor. Time to make this happen, you guys. Pull our spirits out of there. Pull our duck out of there. Look at that. Looks nice. Come in here, lengthways. Look at that perfect color. And don't press down on your meat when you're cutting it. You just let the knife do its job. Mm. What kind of knife are you using? Uh, this here is a silver stag. Mm. It's a silver stag filet knife. Just like that. We'll take some bacon bits, put right on top like that. Take some crumpled blue cheese. That's just reduced love. Ooh, now we're getting technical. Presentation. There you go. And that, y'all, is for my beautiful wife. Okay. Say the blessing. Lord, I just want to thank you for today. Lord, I thank you for all our many blessings, Lord. Thank you for letting William go and have a great trip, come home safe not get too many to re crash. Whatever. I, I, I just thank you for this food that we're having. Please forgive us of our sins. Jesus name. Yeah. Yeah. She was moving like crazy in your teeth. She was feeling it. Mm -hmm. It was really good. Really? I had some with my portobello. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. That's so good. Really? Do you like yours? I really no, like mine. No, seriously, with the blue cheese and that reduction, even without the portobello. Yeah, you I, went yeah. The portobello, no. which is a great idea. But I think it's the heat, that heat that he used. Because mm -hmm. it really adds a kick. Oh. oh my God, mine is, I mean, like I said, when I saw it, I thought, gosh, that one looks really good. Between the difference mm. between looking and tasting, you're obviously not, but wow, that is awesome. I, mean, I was nervous because, can I say that or not? Yeah. I was nervous because duck is so touchy sometimes. It can be really, really gamey, or you can cook it just right and hit a home run. 
This, home run. And I will flat out say if it's gamey, and it's not. Very good. Honey, eat some. In my opinion, that's, some, that's seriously, and no joke, not trying to pump anything up, that's some of the best duck I've ever tasted. It's good. Really? I swear. I'm not even I'll be up there. I mean, duck all around at French restaurants I've had, you know, da da da. This is like, it's just pure. It has flavor. You can taste the flavor of the meat, the accents of the bacon, the cheese, and everything else that goes along with it. That reduction it just it ties in the true nature of it. I, it's, I, I can't say enough. It's awesome. Thank well, you. thank you guys. Thank you. Wham! Yes. Winner, winner. Mallard duck for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, you guys. Hey, I'm gonna edit this video. Then tomorrow, I'm gonna edit a really awesome duck hunting video from Uruguay. I was down there. It was amazing. So I'll shoot you guys, show you a video, and um, this was totally worth the price of admission, you guys. Subscribe. Thumbs up, leave a comment, tell a friend. Boom, we out. Woo.